shop that I use on a regular basis is my tumbler. Um, the light's straight here. All right, so this is a homemade tumbler. It was made, I bought it second hand. It is not motorized, as you can tell, this is my big motor right here. It's a five finger power. If I, if I really get with it, it's a ten finger power. Um, it is pretty easily um, adapted if you want to do it. These are two by fours, just cut and then put on this and a two by four across here. Hole drilled in it, put together, and then this is an octagon with two um, 45 degree mitered one by twos. So, and then this is wire that goes through there. Um, the one thing that makes this pretty decent for a tumbler is number one, it's size, and number two, inside it's got the um, big nails. Can you see it? Yeah, you can see that one you put your hand on. Okay, right here. Yeah, there's um, two below there's there. There's like two or three on each one. Now, the only thing, if I was going to do it myself, now like I said, I bought this one second hand, love the handle, you know, real simple, but what they have is, I don't know if you can see it. You can it, see it's a nail. It, it's just a nail, and it goes through a hole in here into this one by two right here, so it goes like so. The problem is, is number one, it doesn't go all the way in. And it sticks out, so there's no adjusting this. I mean, there's no stopping point. There's no buffer, so that it gives it enough clearance. And you physically have to make sure that it clear that the nail on this side clears this two by four. Um, there's marks where it hasn't, and those were there before we got it. And I think we've actually put a few on it too. So you know, but it will tumble a whole fleece for larger ones and. I mean, and two fleeces for the smaller, like our shepherds. So, um, I tumble first, then wash, run it to the picker, or wash, dry, and then run it to the picker. So, um, pretty much, this is my biggest piece of equipment that I own.